Welcome Transformer fans. Um, this is not an unboxing video. This is a transformation video. Um, if you see my last video, you'll see that I just assembled the unboxed and assembled the nemesis. Um, today, today or now rather, I am going to attempt to transform it blindly. Um, just as many of you guys will. So don't make the same mistakes as me. See my last video. Don't make the same mistakes assembling the uh, nemesis as I did either. But uh, yeah, so here she is. She's big. I'm going to pan down here. She's big. So we're going to start here with the problem from the last video where the tolerance was uh, when they kept opening up. So we're going to try to open that up. Um, I may adjust camera. Uh, throughout so we move that once more this is the first time i'm transforming her so i have no idea what i'm doing but we're gonna find out uh, if i can when that opens up let's pan down here to see what i'm doing uh that opens up these parts here Cheap plastic. I, I don't know why they did that. It just feels so cheap. This here, slightly better, but not not huge quality plastic. So they obviously cheaped out on uh, selling that. This is probably going to move up, so we're going to worry about that later on. Um, these are going to be her legs, I think. If that moves out. Um, I don't see any tabs to tab into there. Or there. Yep, we're we got our legs. All right. So, a normal set of, of well, listen to all those ratchets. I hope you can hear them. <laughs> Start with the bottom, work your way up. That that's usually what I do. All right. So hopefully she's nowhere near as. Uh... Ooh, that popped off. Huh. Eh, we'll figure out later. No, oh, why are you popping off? I'm gonna leave you that. All right. Eat. Okay. Oh, this is even bigger than my light box now. Um, so there we have her leg. Um, this is like it's gonna fold over. that around and once more I see nothing to uh oh 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 she's gonna fit really compact okay let's see what I'm doing here does that need to pull out anymore no all right so we just rotate that over And her legs are going to be very compact. I feel like this should come out. But no, that's, that's looks like, looking right. That's looking right. That looks like the leg. This part here can probably come over. Hold that way. Her leg, is, her foot is on a oh. There are so many ratchets, it's great. I've taken off the canopy by accident, but we're gonna stick with that. So let's pull this leg down. Uh, I like the thruster bit. I'm gonna rotate this down. There's the leg, and I'm gonna try to show you what I did with the last one. I just pushed this all the way over. And then that's gonna go that way. This thing is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Okay. 
So that knee part is going to have to pop in there. I think a lot of this was just me rearranging this to show you how I'm getting into how I'm transforming it. And then this, I'm just moving over there for now. All right. So now onward to the top part. So we're going to split the nose cone. Hopefully it splits. Is that like rubbery, clear plastic? Yeah, it is. What the heck? Why clear? Does that pop? I don't know. All right, let's see if we can pop this part here. Okay, that's gonna split the whole thing. Or not. So these look like they're gonna be her arms. But now that that's opened, it should allow me to split this part here. Which should be her shoulders. Oh, those are hands. Okay, cool. Right, let's see if we can get her arms out first. And we'll rotate that. And that gun. Ooh, that gun comes up and out. That's um this here's a port. Let's move down here. This here is a port. For the uh that support for the uh uh space bridge, the uh, the minicons that turn into uh roads and cyberize. That's pretty cool. So we have some backwards compatibility there. We just flip that arm here, the same. And I just snapped something off. All right, that piece snapped off. I know where that goes. A lot of pieces on this are very low tolerance. All right, so let me see if I can. Oops. Something has to happen here so this can snap apart. This is like gummy plastic, soft, malleable, and it's clear. Oops. Hey, look, there's another tolerance issue. All right, so that cheap plastic is worrying me. It's full of canopy, there's her head. Uh, not seeing where that goes there. There we go. All right. So I have managed to break this in half. Um, it was easier to go from the bottom. There we go. Yeah, it was easier to go from the bottom underneath. So let's see if we can separate these. That's as far as that goes. And what I have in front of me is a horrible mess. So those are her shoulders and they should extend. There we go out once more strong ratchets very strong ratchets and then this part here needs to come down all right so the top part of her nose in spot mode forms her uh chest and we swing this around there we go this part's gonna have to go to her back all right so this part here has to swing back and we're going to swing her front around this way. And that way her... The top part of her nose, just behind the nose cone with the guns, is going to form the uh, her chest and abdomen. There we go. So that's going to click right into there. Now will she stand? All right. She's towering inside here. All right. Let's swing around here. Her head is right there. 
So we can bring that up, flip that down. It looks like the head even needs some transformation parts, but we'll worry about that a little bit. So we can just pop our head down. This part here rotates like so. And then this part here rotates. Now this is gonna give her her wings. So we're gonna rotate this. Not by that, we're gonna go closer to the join here. Ooh, or not. There we go, it rotates there. So remember when we assembled that? We can pop that back in there, rotate it up. And this piece here has to connect somewhere else. All right, there we go. So it looks like we we fold, we spin this, fold it up like so. Then this connector piece here is going to connect to that. So that's not going to work unless we have it assembled right. And do we have it assembled right? The answer is, it seems like it's so close. Okay, we can probably slide that. Oh, I see. We should be able to slide that down. So this part here needs to fit in there. It's not that, there's no clips, nothing clips in there. There we go. It snaps right into the back. Like so, this lifts up down. There's a little piece right here. Uh, once more, this is right there to the back of it. That is one of those pieces that connect to make a, a bridge so you can cyberize your Cybertron, your Earth, whatever you choose to cyberize. All right, so the back is up there. We have the profile. Uh, oh, she just barely fits in there. She is huge. We can bring this arm down. Now this here panel, that snaps off so easily. We need to find a home for that. And there's still some more paneling here that does some moving, it looks like. All right, this looks like I'm like just, there it goes again. Does that literally just hang off the back there? That doesn't seem right. And the arms just rotate this way. course we can extend those that's the piece that popped out so we're gonna send I can put that back on there now you keep those in those are very loose by the way these here very loose you can see how they just pop it in and out uh, let's rotate this around this way And these look like they're the backs, not the fronts of our legs. So what, do I need to swing that around? Oops, I popped that out. The chest piece is one of the few uh, clear connectors. Yeah, her, uh, her hips are obviously in the back. She has this port here in the front, which is oddly suggestive. These here come off become weapons, so we should be able to just snap those off. 
which I don't like having to snap those off. All right, she's becoming something. All right. And we can just rotate her feet. Uh, rotate her foot. There we go. Some ratchets all over the place here. Guess we can close that port. So yeah, it looks like these just kind of hang off the side. And they're, they snap off really easily. Let's get her back as far as possible. So, her feet are very clean looking from the front. Her shins, her knees are way up here. She's got some long legs. And the back ports. I do always like when the, the feet have the ports on them. I don't know why. That's one of the things I like to transform that. It's thrusters on their feet. Um... It looks like she's assembled. It looks like she's uh, transformed. Um, of course, we can move around. Moving up, we can move these around. But there are some stoppers here. Lots of hindrances. But nice detailing here. Nice color. D different shades of purple. Different shades of uh, maroon. Um, she has like a, I don't know what I want to call it, chest guns. So we can orient those however we like. Um, it feels like the chest should, uh, the chest doesn't open up. There we go. Uh, so we can point these down there. Questionable placement of her, uh. I guess they're technically on her abdomen, not on her chest. Um, her pauldrons are just not much movement there. I thought there'd be some kind of transformation there. And that thing just pops off constantly. And this here has creases on it, like it transforms, but I do not see any way of moving that. I think that might just be a assembly crease. Um, her head. Looks like that spaces out and it scrunches. Her head actually has light piping in it, which is cool. So that opens up. Come on, is that a tab? Well, I guess to form the head, we just lift up the crest until it kind of snaps into place, kind of not. It'll mirror the backside. It looks like a Decepticon, uh, we'll go hands, I will go. Yeah. So the crest just lifts upward. There is light piping. I could probably try to move her forward until we get some light behind her. If not, I could artificially get some light here. Uh, light piping is hard to... There we go. Get a little bit of light piping there. But the crest just moves up. It kind of snaps. It kind of not doesn't snap. But just the crest here moves. Snaps into place. Actually, there it finally snapped into place. This here, I don't know why... It, if we want to make it wider, we can extend it like this. Pull these off to the side. It doesn't really... I mean, the face is just supposed to look like the uh, Decepticon logo. She doesn't have huge amounts of characters. I like her face narrower. I don't know why. And this chest piece needs to extend. Until it snaps there. She looks uh, disgruntled that I'm playing with her. Her chest plate. Then these here, we're going to adjust the, uh, the nipple guns. I've been finding the urge to say that. And the port thruster up front, it has some weird placement. I mean, suggestive placement. I don't know. 
And these, my biggest issue, get this out of here, are these. And that connector there. This connector here, it just snaps right into there. And it's, I guess it, it's one of those safety tolerance issues so you don't break it, but it feels like that's gonna wear off really quickly. This has already popped off, what, three times? I can give it, I'm trying to transform this into a, a tiny pod, but it barely snaps into there. Um, head to toe. That piece has popped off for her shoulder. So we just popped that right back in there. There we go. And these here can be used as guns. We'll transform them momentarily. And this here, I'm gonna find a use for that. So we'll go back to stationary position. Looks like to transform this into a gun. All we gotta do is pull out this piece here. Which I'll get Mr. Pointy in there. And a little bit of pressure up that way. That way we should have that be able to peg it in there. And then uh, we can pull down here. And now it's magically a gun. And she has pseudo uh, masterpiece plugs. Usually the masterpiece transformers have these plugs in the hands to hold the weapons. So it has like a weird, uh, so these have got three millimeter port or four millimeter or five millimeter port. It's like a, a peg. It's a, you're just putting a square peg in a square hole. And it's a friction support. So that leaves its own problems with it, with it being a friction support because it's not using gravity to hold it in. It's using friction. So of course it can easily slide out that way. But uh, that's a minor grievance because the hands are articulated so they are able to hand hold it. The fingers are articulated. Now, of course, any of all the places not to place a ratchet, the elbow. This one's pretty tight. This one, woo. Oops, I'm trying to move it with the gun. I know better than that. Oops. Oh, there's also pegs here. We can slide that in there. So it's actually using two, uh... there we go. That's in there good and tight now. What's not tight is that joint. Oh, it's staying up there. All right, there she is. She's got, she's a lanky creature. Uh, the back, not hollow, but obviously you can see the, that stuff. Um, I don't know how often you're going to be viewing your nemesis from the back. And then this part here, I have no idea where this goes in this mode. Um, I could cheat and look at the instructions. which I will definitely do after this, but I do not see a place for this unless this tower, actually, um, let's see, I'm gonna lay her down like this. Pull that there, okay. There is, this here is the, the tower mode in vehicle. So we can put, that's what that's for. Okay, I see. So the tower mode does stay in place. The tower mode, the tower. There we go. And that is a, once more, a, it's a clear plastic piece, but it's like gummy. And that will fit right in there. And that, uh, connector point. So that's pretty cool. That's some decent engineering. She has a gun right behind her head. I don't know if that's a good idea. Having a gun right, right at your head at all times. Anyway, there is the nemesis. 
once more that goes in there and there's uh two little buttons that go into there and that holds it securely we'll do one more sweep over as i discuss what i think about it so design ways I like it a lot more in person than I saw online. Um, the cheap plastic parts here, 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 I don't like. It's got plenty of ratchets, which, which, which is going to hold some poses, except for the elbow, which it needs to hold up its gut. And we've got ratchets there, here, knees. I mean, it's, it's got some good, good solid ratchets. Um, it's very clean on the front. The back is a little, uh, little rough. <laughs> the feet are my favorite part. I don't know why. That that I wish I would have saw more of this somewhere else. Um, and I wish the chest would have been more. I wouldn't say fancy, but something something else with that. Like um, what it is, it feels hollow. I guess that, that's what I'm getting at. Um, usually I like my chest transformers chests are, are usually, uh, iconic in design. Most of them and hers just seems weird. I mean, it, it's got a bit of a, I see what they did to try and make it feminine. And the shoulders, <laughs> I, 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 I I have to say the shoulders are, are interesting. Those giant pauldrons. I, I didn't like them in, in images, but in person, it's just makes her look mean. And which is, which is what I want for her to have gone. Oh, biggest right. <laughs> no ranches where you need them and cheap plastic that pops off very easily. Um, if these would have had some kind of place to tuck them away. Awesome. But as it stands, that's that's the most that you're gonna do to tuck it away. You're gonna move the arm up, swing it back on that little bitty bitty uh, on that little bitty joint that pops right off like that. So uh, I don't know what mode she's gonna be in. For me, she'll probably be in. Uh, both modes look pretty good to me. She'll probably stay in this for a little while. I, I, I like this. Maybe I'll get two. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what the future will bring? But this here is the Nemesis. <laughs> oh, ranking it out of ten. I give her a. Uh, uh, she lose a lot of points for those two T plastic. She's about a seven. This is probably the first time I ranked a woman in my life. Uh, she's a seven out of a ten in terms of transformer toys. Get her? Yeah, she's gonna be great looking as a background in bot mode. I in in a vehicle mode. As far as bot mode goes, it'll be, be neat to set up a little fight between her and and the arc. But there she is, giant, purple, beautiful. And that's what's in the box. If you haven't already, please like this video if you enjoyed this video. If you're still watching and you don't like it, I'm not sure why, leave me know why in the comments while you're watching it to the end here. If you don't like it, um, tell me what you think about this. Tell me if you like this uh, idea of transforming the videos, transforming the transformer separate from the unboxing. I mean, this is just a logistics thing because of the sheer size of her and trying to fit her in a light box. Um, but thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, it, uh, like, share, comment, whatever you want to do. And as always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.